Travis Pastrana. Is he going to make it and become undefeated five-time champ of Motorex prelims are coming up next for freestyle. Pastrana, four-time gold medalist. Nate Adams, three-time silver medalist. Tonight, there will be no time for hesitation. Moto X Freestyle. That's a kid right there, Adam Jones, that is leading this shindig, so to speak, but he is in jeopardy with capital letters because the Home Depot crowd here is ready to get a face full and an eye full of who many consider to be the best freestyle motocross rider on the planet. I would say he is definitely the cleanest and not afraid to throw down. Nate Adams is in the house. Nate Adams so fed up with being the bridesmaid every time he shows up. He is out to stomp tonight. This should be a great run. Starting it out with the backflip, can-can. The can-cans -can when they stick the foot across and then going right into a no-handed backflip. Wow, that was amazing. That no-handed backflip had some huge extension on it, taking the hands all the way off the bars. Now remember, we talked about him being, or I did, about being the best trick rider in the business. He has the polish. Watch all of his extensions. It is rare to see him miss on something, and they're off what many are saying is the toughest one jump on the course. The dirt kicker, he gets good extension as well. Had good extension, but I noticed all of these guys seem to be going long on that dirt kicker at 80 feet, thinking that it's perhaps a little longer. And these images coming from the Taco Bell fly cam. Look at Nate wheeling into the ramps. Oh, great extension. Grabbing and then throwing the let go of rock solid there. Interestingly, grabbing on that one side, then letting both of oh, go. Oh, oh, 360. oh, my, the 360 from Nate Adams over 80 feet. We saw him throw that in the best trick competition and receive a silver medal, the color he doesn't like, by the way. Nate definitely doesn't like silver. Great running man, a sidewinder there, comes in looking for the tsunami on that dirt to dirt. And the judges know that dirt to dirt is a much tougher transition than ramp to dirt and should be judging that accordingly. Let's see what he has in the next 75. A huge deal, look at backflip from Nate Adams. Okay, so we saw Deegan do three backflips, but they were all the same. Nate Adams did multiple black backflips, but they were all different, and the judges will be watching, and I think without even having to look into my crystal ball, I would say that he is going to be leading by a commanding amount. Look at the 360 test. Oh, man, flat spin 360. Nate has no problem with this, spinning it to the left, lands on both wheels so perfectly. And this, the combo, the can-can backflip, lands it, lines up the next 80-footer, and does a huge no-hander backflip. That is an incredible trick. And on the last of watch for the heel click, does he get it all the way around and touch? It sure looks like it. Aces all the way across for Nate Adams. Travis Pastrana still to come. He will have his work cut out for him. But the target rider here, Nate Adams, waits for his scores. It should be no surprise that 89-21 is what? Jones had, oh, oh yeah. yeah, maybe even a little bit conservative with the 93-80 from the judges. They got to leave themselves room to move up and above. Pastrana still to come in. You know, we still have another round of riders. We'll be finishing them off in Sports Center. And uh, when you see the yellow Suzuki come up with the 199 on it, what does that mean? That means Wonder Boy, Travis Pastrana, four gold medals. He has not lost in freestyle motocross at the X Games. He missed one because of injury, but this is the guy that is the king of X Games freestyle motocross, and he's gonna do it nose manual, down the face, into the course. Remember, time doesn't start until he hits his first jump. Travis having fun there. Let's see what he has. Oh, the big backflip knack over the first jump. And the backflip heel kick into no-hander lander. One-hander. Wow, Travis Pastrana putting the exclamation point on this one right now. Okay, now here's where you can dig on Travis Pastrana a little bit. 
Sometimes he doesn't get all the extension when he goes for his regular tricks. Oh, and right into a 360 flashman slow rotation. That's a 45 foot jump and he landed way down on the bottom of the ramp. And I'm not sure he's got a problem with the motorcycle. Maybe he blew some spokes out, but you saw him look down. He's, is he calling for a timeout? He is calling for a timeout. He has an equipment timeout now that he can run to get this bike fixed. He had a problem in practice, if you remember, with his linkage. So we're gonna have to look now to see what is wrong with Travis Pastrana's motorcycle while we take this time out. Interesting. This is not football, but there are some timeouts and you can see his wrench there. Now, if they have to push the motorcycle off out back, he's got 50 seconds left in his run. He has two minutes to try to fix the motorcycle. So now the crowd is cheering him on and his mechanics are trying to figure out what exactly they're gonna do. And there's the 199. You can see some of the stunned people standing by. Let's take a look back and see what happened. Going for the 360, he rotated very slow. He's coming into a 50 foot super kicker, rotated super slow and goes very, very the front low. Wheel. Looks like it wedged just a little bit. Maybe yeah, it, sp it spokes. If you really look at the bike, it looks like the wheel's wobbling just a little bit. He was a little slow on the rotation right there. Wow, came down so hard on the seat there. Not a lot of padding on these seats. Obviously hurt his lower back as he landed there. A beautiful flat spin. I mean, he couldn't possibly have got it flatter, but just too long. Well, the crowd evidently upset with Travis Pastrana having a problem. We'll have to give you the official time. He's got 50 seconds left in his run. Never seen a timeout called. How is the knack-knack backflip? He is so far off the bike. He was so far off the bike, pulling it on two axes. And here, he goes for the heel clicker and goes to land it and takes that one hand off the bars. That's a scary looking trick. Here we have the slow rotation, the incredibly flat 360, but he's going too long because he's jumping this over 50 feet, which he is not used to. And the clock is running for Travis Pastrana. His timeout has ended. He has 24 seconds remaining, and I'm basically gonna tell everybody at home it takes longer to get back to the pit and change a wheel and get back out here than he had, and so good thing we have two runs. But what's interesting to ask here is, what will the score be? We have to wait for time to run out, but they still have to score the run. Could it be enough to move into the top five? I doubt it with like less than half a runner or so. I can't imagine it will be, but Travis now knows he has to pull a flawless run to ensure he is in the top five tonight to transfer into these finals. That was a really tough break for Travis. Let's take a look at this again. He comes off a 50-footer super kicker, does a very flat spin, and lands so far down the jump. Now, the reason the super kicker is at 50 feet is because Travis requested it. May have cost him. 74.4, only good enough for 10th place, and that is not a ride into the finals, Cam. Well, that is a last place sit right now. So, Travis Pastrana, well, we're gonna see him again. It's the best of two. Don't go away, these guys are gonna step it up a whole nother notch. Nate Adams leads them into round number two. Next at X, a new level of speed, skill, and you've got to be kidding me is revealed. Super Moto 20 races at a time will hit the dirt, the pavement, and the air. In Skateboard Big Air, riders will use 46 or 60 foot roll ins, clear 50 or 70 foot gaps, and drop into a 27 foot quarter pipe. Survival will be cause enough for celebration. That's Sunday, 4 Eastern, then again 7 Eastern and Pacific, both live on ABC. There has been some drama going down. Two runs is what it takes. Your best score will go. Travis Pastrana is not in the top five who will move on to the final, which will air tomorrow on ABC. That is the footage of him. He's grabbing his back. He blew out a wheel. Nate Adams sits on top with a 93.80. He's got a 360. Also not on top, Deegan and Metzger. And we talk about the Prince of Darkness, the Kingpin from the Metal Militia. 
He is sitting in seventh place, and he is not real happy about it. He needs an 88.41 to move it through. And sounds like we're getting a little bit of bike rev. Metzger moving out of the way. A little white smoker from Brian <laughs> Deegan. I think Deegs was trying to get a little bit of traction there off the ramp. Maybe he thought he was still in the step-up competition. Deegan's having fun. He's at the X Games. He's feeling great. He's back after only seven months from a massive injury in Winter X. Yeah, and you know, the doctor said he shouldn't be back on the motorcycle before this time now. He was actually back on the bike in under three months. He's still rocking it with a handful of pins and a giant, what I like to call, lag bolt going through his femur. And uh, Brian is a tough guy. We always say that. Time starts when they hit the ramp the first time or catch air the first time. And he starts it out with a backflip. He has 90 seconds to prove he is worthy of making it in to the X Games final. Top five riders is what they're going to take. And Brian has a whole host of medals in the sport of freestyle motocross. He's calling it out to the fans. Ryan looks to be uh, having a good time in this run. He's got a little bit more extension. He looks more solid than he did, but he's taking a lot of time getting from point to point, spending time saluting the fans. That is not smart because he took so long to get to his first jump that I think the judges started the clock. I'm not sure what's going on with Brian Deegan. He's riding that bike that's uh, painted by West Coast Choppers, built by FMF, and it, it looks great. He's been working with Jesse James for a while, and. I'm really confused right now with Deegs. He's got nine overall medals at the X Games. He just missed in the other two disciplines here. He's also going to ride in our Supermoto competition. It almost seems like he's mailing this one in. You know, it, it's, it's just got this feel that Brian's like, hey, I'm out here. I just want to give you a little bit of entertainment. He doesn't seem to think that he's going to be advancing to the finals. I mean, Brian is not riding like a man possessed. Will he throw the 360? It doesn't look like he's going to. This would be his last shot, and he's just, oh, he's calling a timeout. He, oh. he called the timeout. I think he's mocking Travis Pastrana maybe a little bit, and uh, just goofing around. And, and Brian, a character to say the very least, and doing a little uh, wheelie up the ramp there, and there's his buddy Mike Metzger, they actually ride on the same uh, ECC Honda team. And here comes Brian's first flip, siding the landing. Look at him, he looks down. There's the dirt. I'm going to land. It comes down safely. What was the breaking point? I'm not sure why he just decided. I mean, he did this flip after he already started riding slow and somewhat goofing around. And he came out in the run. It was a great run. There's a kiss of death. Doesn't look bad at all, gets some extension, but who knows what goes through Brian Deegan's mind. <laughs> what lurks in Brian Deegan's mind? There's the Mohawk, the character he is. Remember, he was tied for seventh. He's going to need to bump it up. Kenny Bartram was on the bubble, and he's going to stay tied for seventh. The judges like that one even less, so Deegs is out of freestyle competition, and Kenny Bartram, who's sitting in fifth place, or our bubble position, is saved from having to head to the showers, but another guy that is more than able to knock him off that perch is Mike Metzger, who did the first back-to-back -back backflip when he garnered gold back in 2002 in Philadelphia. Now let's see if Metz looks for the back-to-back -back here again as he comes down the ramp. Has to work hard to get into that top five, but if anyone can do it, the Godfather can. Backflip number one. He was coming up short on that first ramp, and he does again, but he pulls it off. He goes for a sketchy no-footed backflip over the second ramp. That's a very technical section for those of you just joining us on SportsCenter. And a good cliffhanger for Metz. He doesn't get his body all the way straight up and down like some riders, but he throws in the extension a little bit more in a, in a sitting position. And, and there, just a little bit off on the double grab, let go double grab. Just wasn't all the way poked out. That was a very tentative double grab. There he puts in the knack knack, which of course made famous by the great Jeremy McGrath. But Metzger's not looking as solid as I thought he would. Let's go of the bike completely there, flies through the air. And Bartram watching on, that's the cowboy, Kenny Bartram. He sits on the bubble as we spoke about. 
He's just hoping Metzger doesn't knock him off, but he's got some real problems coming up a little bit later because another rider who sets behind him in the standings is named Travis Pastrana, who almost augured a 360, blew his wheel out, and had to miss part of his first run. He comes up a little bit later, but hey, we saw a problem the first time. Anything can happen, especially when you're talking about Travis Pastrana. And Metzger squirrely into that second ramp. He was so squirrely, he came out with that big extended neck and uh, caught on the marbles on the downside of the landing those little loose rocks that can take you out if you're just a little bit sideways and the can can backflip coming in the glory time the yellow flag was waving he had 15 seconds and now time is up this one i don't believe will count but he's throwing it out the knack knack backflip looked like he tried a little bit harder there than he did in his first run and going for some different combinations of the flip he's still riding he's mike metzer he can do whatever he wants I think we look at things like his very tentative double grab let go there. I know, we're picking it apart a little bit. And uh, Kenny Bartram is definitely probably picking it apart up there. He's probably shaking his head going, no, no, no. This is the double-double where he started it out. Okay, he lands and cases it again. He comes up short on the first one, which affects him on the second one. And he just has a very weak no-footer, pushing both his feet off his foot pegs. And Matt's going for the can-can backflip. He hung just a little bit going through is what we're saying. Watch how he catches the seat as he starts to go through a bit. See how he hooks just a little bit? The judges can't deduct for that, but since I don't think any of the judges can do a backflip can-can, they better be nice. And there's Kenny Bartram. He is sitting on the bubble right now. Metzger wondering if he made it through. Tied in seventh where is where he was with Brian Deegan. Oh, and he moves up to sixth place, but it's not going to be enough to knock off Kenny Bartram. Right now, it is the new master of freestyle motocross. This is quite a dogfight for those of you watching freestyle motocross for your first time. Travis Pastrana is undefeated in freestyle competition at the X Games when he's here competing. Nate Adams, a lot of people are saying how smooth and perfect he is. Watch his execution on his back flip combination. A combination means he does another trick while he's flipping. Let's see if he gets started to it. Back flip with the can-can to start it off. And another backflip to put the icing on the cake, we should call it. Well, the truth is, with only Travis Pastrana left to run, Nate Adams is guaranteed a spot in the final. Now, if he's a thinking man at this point, Tess, I would think he might go for a big run to see how high he can score. You know, with Nate, he is such a sensible guy. I don't know if he will go for a big run right now because freestyle in the finals is what it's all about. Went long on that dirt to dirt. Oh, stole the bike. Stole the bike and looking at underneath his Butterfinger sticker there. We were talking about the Van Halen sticker the other day. And probably his favorite song isn't running with the devil by Van Halen, is it? No, I would think he's probably more likely to be running jump on his iPod right about now. <laughs> well, if I was him, I'd be working a deal to go down to Cabo Wabo to the club down there and hang out. He's, he's putting in a run here, but folks, we're kind of not totally paying attention because he's already in the final, even though he's doing a backflip knack-knack right there. One of the biggest tricks in the sport, but I suspect we will not see a 360 from Nate in this run. We did see it in his first run, however. Wow, that was a great sidewinder there, though. He got all the way off the side of the bike, got, I don't know, three, four paces in before he got back on. And you hear the horns blowing, six seconds left. He's running out of time. He'll get another hit. I don't think it will be a 360, however. Goes into the last 75-footer and pulls the heel clicker backflip. He knows he's safe and secure and in the finals tomorrow. What a decent run for Nate Adams. I, definitely a decent run. I mean, that probably scores better than any run we've seen so far, except for maybe his first run, which put him in the first place. And taking a look here from the T-Mobile fly cam, look at the extension. Wow, he really leans that one back. I think they call it the jackhammer style when you go up straight like that. And here we come with the can-can backflip, the double-double, followed by another straight 75-foot backflip, which means he lands 80 feet away from where he takes off. And we saw him do the no-handed backflip on that in run number one, and Nate's chilling in the drink right there, and 
It's uh, evident to all of us that he is going on to the final, but the drama is that Travis Pastrana is still to come. The score is going to be a 90.40. He definitely bettered that in his first run. And the thing for me is I, I can't even imagine what Nate is going to bring out tomorrow in the finals because you know he's holding back. Well, the rumor is he's got a reverse access 360. He normally spins left, but he says he can go both ways. Travis Pastrana is on the drop in board. What does that mean? He's being held right now. One of his best friends is Kenny Bartram. He is standing by with the cowboy hat right there. Remember, he is the man on the bubble sitting in fifth place. Travis Pastrana is undefeated, but he got defeated by this 360 earlier on tonight. See him grabbing the back, and the wheel is the problem here. It blew out. He did tweak his back, but remember, he chose to put that ramp at 50 feet for something that he has planned for the finals, which he may not get into unless he puts in a good run now, Cam. We also know that he has the double backflip. I don't think we're going to see it today. We're going to see it in the finals tomorrow if he makes it that far. But Jamie Little is standing by with some info for us. Well, you guys, Travis's back is very sore right now, but his mom is here. She gave him a handful of Advil and said, just get out there, Travis. We'll worry about your back later on, but right now we just have to qualify. Well, qualifying is what it's all about. Travis Pastrana giving Jamie Little the bunny ears on SportsCenter before he goes down on a do or die run. That tells you something about Travis Pastrana's personality. He is loose. He is always willing to have a good time. Many people say he's completely nuts. He's sitting in 10th place. Listen to this stadium. He needs to come up with an 88-41 or better. Started off with a whipped out knack-knack backflip. That is the most incredible knack-knack backflip I have ever seen. He was so whipped out. I can't believe he can do that upside down. When you say whipped out, Tess, throw the bike sideways while he's upside down. And great extension on double grab. This is the old Travis Pastrana. He is racing this course. Watch him on the gas. No one else is doing this. What this means is he will get more jumps than everybody else. He might take out a few barriers in the meantime. More flips. There the can-can flip to one hand and lander a little late on taking the one hand off. Not sure if he got it all the way there. And oh, this is Travis like a boxer. He's getting in so many punches. The other guys are never going to get up from this. Travis going for the dirt to dirt 80 footer. The lazy boy, he invented that trick and he reaches back and grabs his back fender. He used to just throw his arms out. Now he actually grabs the fender, accentuating it just that much more. This kid has one Supercrosses. He has one titles, a 125 Supercross title and a 125 outdoor national title. Kenny Bartram knows his dishes are just about done. If Travis Pastrana can keep this rolling, game over for Kenny. And there you go, Travis continuing to arc it out. Travis, I think, just wanted to have a run that said, look, I'm Travis Pastrana. I'm kind of crazy. What am I going for? The 360 that bit him last time. Oh! Pastrana with a bit of a wad up there going for the 360 on the 50-foot ramp jump. That, what I want... I just don't understand sometimes with Travis Pastrana. He probably knew that he had enough score to make it through without throwing that down. No one else did a 360 successfully except for Nate Adams. So as time runs out, I mean, he's literally at the last second of his run. This is the last jump. He goes for the 360, and it just doesn't look like he got all of the rotation test. It looked like he just kind of slid out when he got to the landing. I didn't see it really clearly, so we're going to be waiting to find out. You hear the crowd applauding in the background. Travis goes for the 360 right at the end of time, gets it super flat, but when he comes around, he's not completely rotated, and the loose dirt takes him down, and a huge slam to the head for Travis Pastrana. Travis is a tough kid, though. Let's see what he can do. All the way around, flat spin, not rotated. Wow. Oh, and the score yes. is coming in. He's going to be moving up into second place. The crash hurting him on the scores in 89.60. And TP, the wonder boy, Travis Pastrana, obviously a little run. The look on his face.
Can he make the call tomorrow for the freestyle final? Will he make it? Well, I think, as you said, Travis just got his bell rung, and he is walking off more or less under his own steam. He's getting a little bit of help. Let's go down to Jamie Little and see if she has a little bit more dirt for us. Well, you guys, he has a contusion on his left eye. He got the wind knocked out of him. Dr. Susan McGowan, they're on top of things. She said he's going to be all right. And, hey, I know to Travis, the best news is he made it in the show tomorrow. The question, Will, will he be able to make the call for the big show? And he also has the double backflip. Will he get it together to be able to do that? Travis Pastrana, these are the boys making it through. Adams, Jones, Bamberg, and Renner, those are your top five. Moving on to the freestyle final on Sunday. Jamie, I don't think we're going to see the backflip tail whip over here at Moto X, but we have seen some insane action. Five riders set to go to the final. Nate Adam wants his first gold, but Travis Pastrana is in the house, and he threw down a huge run, which I thought had him already in the final, but he had some problems on the 360, whacking his head, mild concussion. He did walk off under his own steam, and he is back. But look at the damage to the face. He is a little rough, but he will be going for it. Jimmy, it will be an insane show. Travis Pastrana taking a bit of a beating there last night. You'll see him out here a little bit later on on those insane jumps. And rumor has it, we might even see the old double backflip. That beautiful shot that you're seeing of the Home Depot Center is brought to you by the Saturn Lightship. The crew of the Saturn Lightship pleased to provide aerial coverage of the 2004 X Games and how good they're making it look as we gear up for the Moto X Freestyle Finals. The big dance and a very interesting cast. EXPN columnist, for real, Ronnie Renner. You have the skateboarding quiet family man from the north in Bo Bamberg. The humble rookie, doesn't even know what he's doing here, in Adam Jones. And the son of a flat track racer, Nate Adams, who many feel is long overdue for the gold. But how about this guy, Travis Pastrana? For some reason, he always feels he has to push the envelope to tempt fate as he goes for the gold. I gotta ask you guys, Cameron, does he have what it takes today after everything he went through last night to get that gold? Well, Sal, there's no doubt he has what it takes. And looking at him today when I talked to him, he looked a little crazy. I think uh, anything's possible from Travis Pastrana. He's got the double backflip in his back pocket. This house is sold out. 27,000 strong. What up? Freestyle Motocross. I'm Cameron Seal along with Tess Sewell and Jamie Little down on the floor. And we are taking our top five riders from the prelims and they are now in the finals those are their faces they will have helmets on however tonight nate adams with the 360 throwing it down and taking the number one spot but travis Pastrana is totally capable of taking the top spot he's had a heck of a week here at x 360 in the prelims and basically blowing out his wheel it's hard to tell there and hurting his back he called for a timeout they gave him a two-minute timeout. He couldn't get his bike back together, and he would have to come back out in the second run. Do or die. The best of two, just like tonight. He came out and just was filthy, stomping his run. That was a knack-knack backflip and a heel kick backflip. I thought he was in. No worries, no problems. But, of course, on his last jump, he's Travis Pastrana. He has to throw down 360 to dirt now. Hits his head. A mild concussion is the result. And he definitely wasn't feeling it at that point. You can see the redness around his left eye, and he is rocking that today. But he is in the house and ready to go, and he will be jumping here in the finals. The best of two runs is how it's going to be. So you get to throw one away, and Ronnie, who's your daddy, Renner? He comes from a pro motocross background, so he has tons of bike skill. But Tess, can he win the event? Well, Ronnie's had an up and down year this year, but really did look quite good last night. Whether he can win this event, I don't know, but nice stylish start off there for the Ren Dog. Remember, folks at home, they have 90 seconds to basically risk it all. Time starts when they go off of their first jump, and the idea in freestyle motocross, take as many body parts off as possible and get them all back on before you land. Remember, 360s and backflips are now part of the deal in freestyle, and so is the whip. That was the first trick ever before freestyles even invented. Guys were throwing their bikes sideways, and I think it's still a huge crowd favorite. The crowd always goes nuts when they see a whip because it just does not look like you can pull that bike back underneath you. Oh, a great 
sidewinder there for Ronnie. Let go completely of the bike and run along next to it. <laughs> Doesn't sound safe. And look at this coming in. So this could be a backflip. Yes. A beautiful one-hander backflip over the 45-foot ramp from Ronnie Renner. A little bit of over-rotation. Now, if you're at home and haven't seen a backflip before, that was completely nuts. It was a 45-foot jump. He took one hand off. He did over-rotate a little bit. There are five judges watching. Takeoffs, landings, big tricks, the whole game. But there has been backflips over 75-foot and 80 jumps. The 75-foot backflip is almost, you know, the norm now. It's, it's quite common for most of these riders. But Ronnie took a long Long time to get the backflip. Oh, and there it is. That is called the stripper. And of course, uh, it was Ronnie's trick. He invented it. He's working this course. And you got to work all the jumps and make your flow. No hand and ladder, so stepping it up a notch. We didn't see that in his prelim run. You hear the horn go off and the yellow flag starts waving. That means that Ronnie has 15 seconds of glory time. The last 15 seconds of his 90 second run. And as you can see, time is winding down for Renner. He needs to impress. Got time for one more jump. He's going to the ramp, so this one probably will count. We'll have to check with the judges. Wow, a nice dead body. He gets his body fully extended over the bike horizontally. Trick invented by Drake McElroy. This is a great one for Ronnie Renner. And Renner going up to the top. All the world's a stage for Renner. Known for his stylish antics. <laughs> Renner will break and pop, and there's the sprinkler. No, he said if he didn't learn any new tricks, he'd have to learn some new dance moves. But that's the same old dance moves from Renner. But a great run. Taking a look at this first hit right now, Ronnie comes off and does a massive whip. The bike is so flat. That's incredible. Flat and sideways and almost a precursor. If you're watching gymnastics, you almost have to do a backflip to be a part of freestyle motocross. And he, and he starts early with the no one-hander. You got to take it off early. Judges say it's too safe if you do it late. Here he goes to the rock solid, which wasn't that good, but a no-handed lander. And I have to say, I thought his bike was a little nose high there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes. And one thing about that no-handed lander also, Tess, he did not check the handlebars when he came back. What that means is he didn't grab back on to make sure they were straight. And the score for Renner coming in in 87.60. That will set the mark with four riders still to go in this first round. And remember, they have another shot at it. We will see Ronnie Renner once again. But now, the quiet killer. He walks softly but carries a big motorcycle. His name's Bo Bamberg. And Tess, uh, he's got great style, great execution. He's just not a loudmouth like some of the other guys. He's not a loudmouth. Bo Bamberg is, he's the family man. He's kind of quiet, kind of serious, but uh, every now and again you see him crack a smile. I think that there's definitely some mischief in Bamberg. They're running in the reverse order of how they qualified, so... Bamberg qualifying in fourth from the prelims, making it solidly into the final, and Looks like he's doing a little motorcycle warm-up on what was our supermoto course. Now, here's a question for the judges. He just tricked that jump, so that's probably going to start his 90 seconds of time. Oh, and going into the backflip into the double-double. This is very technical because you have to line up for the second jump, and Bamberg nails it. That was a great start, and what a unique way to do it. Over what was the finish line of our supermoto race today, Bamberg pulls off a trick. Course variation. The judges love that stuff. Smart. Smart, smart move for Bo Bamberg. And he's got a lot of run into these jumps there. Getting, oh, wow, big variation across a bar trick there. So interesting, something a little bit different, very technical. Remember, it's like skating. You see big air tricks or, or skateboarding. Big air tricks way out of the coping and some on the coping. The judges both score each with their own flavor and flair. Huge rock solid there. You take both hands off the motorcycle and fly above it, and you just pray that the motorcycle is still there when you land. He did a pretty weak lazy boy before, lying backwards on the motorcycle. It's supposed to be fully extended, like you're lying on the couch. But unfortunately, Bo was bent at the waist. That trick alone could cost him. Oh, that's going to cost him for sure. He was looking to put his feet through the handlebars, maybe going to the McMets, and he wasn't able to do it. Yellow flag is waving. He's inside of 15 seconds. He's got time to go through this section. The crowd's behind him. Well, I think 
he missed that trick and that sends your mind to all sorts of wacky and wild places because you are jumping 80 foot every time on a 250 pound motorcycle. I'm sure Bo will come out pretty hard in the second round, but uh, it's going to be a disappointment for him, I think. It's definitely rare to see Bo Bamberg not get a trick, getting a great backflip. I love the way he lays it out while he's standing up. He gets so extended on that backflip, and here he goes into the tsunami. Look how bent those legs were. It's called a tsunami because it resembles a wave. And that is good extension, is it not, Tess? Well, he looks like he's doing a halo jump, falling from 20,000 feet, but he doesn't have a parachute on. There is no safety net in freestyle motocross. Crashes do hurt. There is the successful McMet McMetz, and we saw him knock it through one time, and that's definitely a problem. Whipping it out, that's the original trick, as we talked about earlier, but what we need to look at is the one he didn't make, and... Bo right now is waiting for his score. Oh, an 84 20. Yeah. A, a decent score. Remember, he had a couple problems. He did have a couple of problems. And, and just as, uh, you know, we were saying about bike stunt dirt, if you miss a trick on any one of these jumps, there is no chance, no chance you're even going to get in the medals. All right. Well, I'm going to ask you now. Youngster, new face, Adam Jones, basically blasting out of nowhere. First ever X Games. What can we expect from him? Adam Jones had a great run last night. We were all stunned because I call this kid a head case. He knows I call him a head case, so it's all cool. But he he lets himself get confused. He he gets upset sometimes, and it sends his run into uh, you know all kinds of bad places. But Adam last night was so solid, surprised everybody. Same as last night, starting it out with the 75-foot backflip. Now, Adam's going to have to nail his whole run. What you're saying, Tess, is if he gets a bad trick, he has a tendency to throw away the whole run. If he gets a bad trick, he's pretty much done, and we saw that in his second run last night. But the interesting thing is he had never done a 75-foot backflip to dirt until the competition last night. So a strong and brave move for Adam Jones definitely paid off. Oh, and look at the extension right there on the ruler, extended way above the bike. So he and the bike are vertical, just like a ruler you used in school. And you can see he's going for the bar hop, throwing both feet through, and then saran wrapping both legs off one side. A tricky maneuver. And here we go, flying along with him. And the McMets, and he wanted to go for the double McMets, and he misses. He did miss that double McMets. Now let's see how he handles the rest of this run, knowing he's missed a trick. Nice cliffhanger, wow. straight up and down, very solid. So remember, five riders with a shot at gold here at X Games. Still to come will be Nate Adams and Travis Pastrana, who will still also be coming back with some bike stunt dirt. And those guys are completely nuts. Lots of guys with gold medals in the house there. But right now, Young Jones trying to get his first gold. Here we go into the last part of the double-double, into the huge stripper, going a little bit long there. But let's see how Adam does with this one. This is a big course. It takes a long time to get to every ramp, simply because we built a supermoto race course in the middle of the freestyle course. So flow is very important. You need to know where you're going, and you have to get there as quickly and cleanly as possible. And that last jump will not count. It was after time. A little bit of a glory jump for the 27,000 fans on hand. And, of course, all you people watching on ABC. And a solid run for the youngster. There goes his rock solid with the Indian air scissor kick in the legs. That was a very, very nice trick. Comes off the ramp again at 75 feet into a very, very extended cliffhanger. These are beautiful tricks for Adam. And here we see again another 75-footer. This one is called the Corpse or the Dead Body, invented by Drake McElroy, another one of the great riders. The last part of the double-double, that would be the fully extended stripper. A solid run. We saw a couple of little hiccups there and definitely one miss. And he looks, he looks a little bit perplexed. He's like, how are the judges going to score that? And, wow, 87, that's not yeah. a bad way to get going. Not far off the lead. Renner has an 87.60 to lead it. And we're hanging out inside the Home Depot Center there. A beautiful look. And this is what's going on so far. We just told you, Renner, Jones, and Bamberg are the big dogs so far. But still way more big dogs to go. We got Nate Adams and, of course, Travis Pastrana still to hit the course. And Jamie Little's with Travis Pastrana now.
Well, Cam, if anybody saw what happened to Travis Pastrana last night, you know he's not in physical condition to be here today. Travis, why are you back here? Uh, I'm just out here to have a good time, put on a great show for the X Games. I don't, <laughs> we got some injuries going on, but uh, we, sh we should be good. So I'm just having some fun. I can't do a couple of the tricks. Not going for the double back today, but I'm going to put on a big run and have some fun. Can you see out of that eye? I, yeah, it's getting better. It's getting a lot better. I mean, it's still, it, the, the vision is not the problem. It's the, the head, the concussion that was the problem, and the broken foot and the jacked up wrist. And, but you know what? No excuses. Let's go up there and rock this place. You guys, it's easy to say this guy gets the medal for the biggest heart in the X Games this year. Biggest heart and just the craziest attitude. He just goes for it at all times. When we come back, Travis Pastrana and Nate Adams will light up this center. Pastrana, you saw him getting carted off last night, and he is standing by. Most normal people want to start their run at the top of the drop-in ramp, but I have a feeling Travis Pastrana wants to start it somewhere else. I get that feeling, too, because he's hanging out there on uh, what was our Supermoto course earlier on. I wonder if that water on the course is going to cause any problems for Travis. This guy is a complete nut job. Look at this entrance into the stadium. And time will start with the jump-in and no legs. And one hand, he goes right into a backflip, and he's over-rotating, but he holds it together. A lot of speed there coming in, and the judges are watching. So Travis with a different entry. We saw a similar situation from Bo Bamberg into the Lazy Boy. Remember, he's having a hard time seeing out of his left eye. Wow, this is a rough one for Travis Pastrana right off the bat. He's going for a huge, huge knack-knack backflip, then a heel clicker backflip. <laughs> He had it big, no footed, knack knack, launching out there. Now, Travis is known for racing the course, almost goes behind the barriers there. Coming into a 75 foot ramp, can cam backflip, and one handed lander. He had to pull the bike up. If you notice, the last minute he had to pull it up. Travis Pastrana has four gold medals. He is undefeated in freestyle at X Games. He missed the event in 02 in Philadelphia, where Mike Metzger won due to injury, but he is definitely rocking the house right now. Ah, uh, he's doing the one-handed uh, running man or sidewinder there. I think he uh, he called it the Wilma when he actually uh, invented that trick. 15 seconds to go for Travis Pastrana. Will we see the 360? Good extension on the double grab. It took him a little while to get there. Will we see the 360? Will, what will we see here from Trav? Cliffhanger, time is out for Pastrana. Red flags are out. He's going to keep running. I don't think this is going to count, but hey, why not give one more for the fans? One-handed flip. And a no-legged flip to no-handed lander. Travis. The kid is putting on a show. He doesn't stop. He just wants to have the fans happy. And it looks like he was successful with making the fans quite happy. Look at him. Wow, you've got to wonder with one eye closed how much depth perception you had. That over rotation, the long 45 footer. Incredible. Look at that. He knack knack the back flip, swinging that back leg over. Heel clickers brought him together. And then no handed lander. 80 feet on a back flip. There he goes up for the ruler. Nice extension there. The leg's a little bit bent, but I think the extension was good, and the judges will recognize that. Definitely, and that's his mom, Debbie, standing by. Remember, his equilibrium was off coming into the event. He was a little bit rattled, and that crash last night couldn't have helped things. We're gonna wait for the score. 90.60 for Travis Pastrana. We expected that. The question is, can it be enough to beat Nate Adams? He looks a little bit dizzy there, and Nate Adams has never won gold at X. He has been the bridesmaid before. Travis Pastrana has always been his kryptonite, so to speak. Can Nate Adams conquer finally at X Games? Nate Adams.
Adams brought enough tricks to win gold in freestyle last year, but he fell just short. Then Nate pulled out a heel clicker backflip to no-hander lander in best trick. But it was only good for silver, and Nate continues to long for the glory of gold at the X Games. <laughs> Well, it's got to be a little bit interesting inside Nate Adams' helmet because he just saw Travis Pastrana's run. He's got to wonder, will Travis throw anything bigger? This kid's got three silver medals from X. He hates that color. He wants gold. We know he's got the 360. We know he has huge flip variations. One thing we've heard rumors of, he can do the opposite direction 360, they're saying, yet we haven't seen it. Turning in the opposite direction is a very difficult trick. Comes out with the can-cam 75 foot and the no-hander flip. Two great and very, very solid tricks for Nate Adams. And remember, we just saw the energy of Travis Pastrana racing the course and Nate Adams revving it up a little bit. A little bit of weak extension there on that trick, but where will we see the threes? That's the question. Will we see the 360 on the big ramp? Getting off the 9 o'clock knack or no-footed knack off the side of the motorcycle? I don't think we're going to see him hit it off the dirt, but I know he wants a 360. The question really is, which one of these ramps will he hit it? Big extension. Pastrana's got to be watching on, you know. Travis has had some huge scores over there. Let's see, wait, wait, wait. Okay, backflip heel clicker. Have a feeling. Oh, oh no okay, handed lander. Travis watching on. Let's see. I don't know if he's running into a jump where he's going to get the 360 within time. Remember, he only has 90 seconds. Oh, my God. There it is. Adam throws the 360. <laughs> he throws the 360 after he throws the knack backflip. That's unbelievable. So comboing. It's one thing to throw it off a ramp where it's just one jump. He did it in a ramp to ramp section. Two doubles in a row. And he still has 15 seconds left. Solid. Wow, this looks like it is going to put him solidly into the lead right now. A great run, a smooth run for Nate Adams. <laughs> Throwing one last big extension in there. Now, you saw all the tricks that he did. He did mix it up quite well. I'm really impressed by the combination ramp ramp setup. Two doubles in a row and on the second one he tricks out a 360. Ladies and gentlemen, that is like the holy grail of freestyle motocross. That is the big trick of the moment. Only three riders have ever done it. Nate Adams, Travis Pastrana, and Brian Deegan. Did you see Nate stomp the bike onto that ramp when he went up? He's feeling so good right now. Take a look at this. Knack, knack, backflip. 80 feet to where he lands and then he sets himself up and whoa! 360's the bike. Not one of the best 360s we've seen from Nate. And watch the knack knack backflip. Good extension, but doesn't get it really far over the motorcycle. And watch this, he does not get real flat. He's arcing it off more like the off access backflip. Not dogging him here, it was a 360, but not as good as he can do here from the Adidas fly cam. Here he goes, heel clicker, sights his landing, and the hands come off. Another brave move. And only the score will tell what's going to happen to Nate Adams. He needs a 90.61 to lead. He looks jacked. Has he got the score? The 93.80 yeah. first place for Nate Adams. Woo. He has the fortunate situation where he gets to run last in the second run, too. So he'll know what Travis Pastrana throws before it goes. Let's go down to Jamie Little, who's with Travis Pastrana. Well, Travis gave it his all, and right now, obviously, very tired. Are we going to see you in a second run? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go back out and have some fun, and I don't know, uh, looking at the scoreboard right now, quite a, quite a good ways off of, off of Nate, so I really don't feel like doing a three or a double back or anything that it really takes to win this thing. Um, just, just real sore right now, but we're good. Um, you know what? Have some fun and see what happens. You guys, he told me when I asked him a little while ago, he said, I'm just going to go out there and flip everything and have some fun. Truly amazing, amazing, 20 years old. Amazing is right, and uh, maybe certifiable is another way to put it, Jamie. Here's your leaderboard. It's Adams, Pastrana, Renner, Jones, and Bamber. Can those bottom three come up and snipe the top two? We'll have to wait until round number two, which we will be coming up to a little bit later. But first, we're going back to the BMX bikes and my buddy Jim Coleman. And I'm going to send it back over to Cameron Steele. Thanks, Jimmy. The question here is, can our hero, Travis Pastrana, do what Ryan Nyquist could? Could not. Medical has cleared this young man to go for gold once again. And it is the X Games final. Guess 
what? Last run still to come, and it is going to be gigantic. It is the face-off of the current Giants of Freestyle Motocross in front of 27,000 people here at the Home Depot Center and everybody at home. This is the kid, 20 years old, Nate Adams. He is currently leading. Remember, it is the best of two runs. His nemesis here, his good friend Travis Pastrana, who sets in second but is injured. He is rumored to have the double backflip. Would he bring it? He said no. Nate Adams standing by, tired of silver medals. He's got three of them, but he's leading us right now. And well, Travis Pastrana, you can see bumped and bruised from his crash last night. He's been riding pretty well, but his head is definitely a little spun been saying it's been tough to ride his motorcycle medical has cleared him to take to the course but right now currently setting in bronze medal position looking to better his score of an 87 60 needs a 93 81 to lead which i don't think he can earn it's ronnie renner well renner pumping up the crowd he's got to be happy anyway this weekend he's sitting in the bronze medal position and i know ronnie is definitely happy this is a great day for the rand dog let's see what he can do Gonna get it started with the monstrous flip there. And then he's gonna head off into the no foot of can, can That is the technical section. Two double doubles back to back. Or a double double back to back, I should say. Remember, 90 second runs. Time starts when you get air the first time. And throw in a combination. Wow. No foot of can off the side, letting go of the bike and running is the side one. And then he comes to no foot of can on the other side. This is his flip ramp. He does it on the smaller of the set. That was a great combo, Cameron. Never seen that done before. Off one side, off the other side. I'm sure the judges are gonna like that. Here's the huge ruler from Ronnie. A little bit nose high. He's tended to do that quite a bit lately uh, after he switched to KTM, but brought it back now. He hits the dirt double, 80 feet. Ronnie, one of the riders who actually requested a slightly bigger jump and a dirt to dirt uh, option here on this course. Ronnie looking good so far. And that would lean on his motocross skills. He comes from a pro riding background we talked about earlier. And wow, really holding oh. that trick. Not just doing what's called the stripper, which is hooking one leg under the bar, one leg over. What's he got here? He's moving in. This is the double grab, rock solid to no-handed lander. We saw that in his first run. So Ronnie mixing it up a little bit, but also bringing back some of what he did before. 15 seconds left in this run. The no-handed suicide win on the double-double. Wow, wow, he is rocking it right now. Ronnie is on his game. He's got time for one more jump. Five judges watching on. Their average score will be what his score ends up to be. And Renner with the dead body. It comes up a little bit short. I think he was maybe thinking no-handed lander at the end of that one. They call it the dead body landed out. The corpse style invented by Drake McElroy. I, I think the fans are digging it. I think the fans are loving this. Ronnie is a great entertainer as well as a great rider. I definitely think he was looking for that no-hander. There was a little pause there at one point. And uh, Ronnie is now dancing on the bike. Great extension there in the ruler. Wow, look at that rock solid. The, the hands going off the bike, though, on a landing 80 feet away from where he took off. That was superb. Here it is. Oh, he caught his feet on the way back. That's why he didn't get the no-handed lander. Not only that, he ended up coming a little short. And Renner, a little bit of bonus time, putting on a show for the fans. He's going to head back up the ramp. Remember, 93.81 is what Nate Adams was rocking after his first run and he has the privilege of going last today so he'll know if anybody can beat him if not he'll have a glory run still in the third place position renner scores an 89 that time around so ladies and gentlemen travis pastrana will try to take down nate adams when we come back can he do it will he throw the big tricks 360s double backflips it will be scary i promise hang on Good thing the body burial wasn't on the ballot. You guys have had a chance to cast your vote for the number one X Games winning moment the last month. We've had so many great moments over the past 10 years, but now we have a winner. And the winner is the number one X Games winning moment by a landslide margin. The 900, the shot and trick heard around the world. The 900 in San Francisco at 99, absolutely helping make the X Games what it is today. We thank the Birdman immensely for gracing us with that trick. And now, my friends, it comes down to this. Two friends, Nate Adams, 
Travis Pastrana both sit one and two with one jump to go. Will Travis Pastrana be able to clear his head and possibly put together a winning run for you, the fans at home? Or will Nate, Had Nate Adams finally get his due? Cameron Steele, I'm shaking up here, man. You're shaking over there. We're standing right here, and it is amazing the tension and the feeling that is going on right now. A lot of people questioning what Travis Pastrana and what Nate Adams will bring to the plate. There is Nate Adams standing by. Pastrana will be our next rider up when we drop only two riders remain. The eye in the sky has been brought to you by Saturn and the Saturn Lightship. The crew of the Saturn Lightship is pleased to provide aerial coverage of the 2004 X Games. And hey, let's mention this. This fall, the benefactor is looking for the contestant with billionaire qualities. And the game starts the minute they walk through the door. Who will pass his test for success? The Benefactor premieres Monday, September 13th, only on ABC. I wish I could get involved with that because I could use a million bucks. But the question is, who will be the benefactor here? Travis Pastrana up next. Nate Adams hanging by in the wings. Now, Nate has a serious advantage because he gets to see what Travis throws down. We saw Travis wadded up on a 360. First he blew out a wheel, he came back in his second run and knocked himself out just for a second, albeit mild concussion. But now it's Travis's time. He will fire this place up. Nate Adams will have to watch and see if his score of 93.80 can stick. Let's see what Travis is going to do. He may just have some fun on this course, or he may pull it. Wow, that is a huge nap backflip and a huge heel clicker to start the run. No hand or landing. Wonderful, Travis. And if he can nail the run he had earlier and add a 360, I think he can bring home the gold medal. Just a question of will he push it that far, and then what will Nate Adams do to answer if that's the case? Travis can barely see out of one eye right now, but he's still pushing it here. Another no-handed lander. And that was the can-can backflip. Nate Adams has to be nervous watching on back there. This could be his shot at gold. In fact, at this point, it is his shot. He has missed gold three times with silver, and Travis tricking wow. the third secret Indian era trick he invented and pointing over at the fans, and Mom is watching on. Debbie watching nervously there. Travis was pointing at the judges when he went over there. That was a crazy trick from Pastrana. The huge, extended, and laid out lazy boy. And this is the area where we saw him try 360s, going for the cliffhanger. Travis with just over 20 seconds remaining. I'm, I'm nervous waiting and watching. One-handed backflip from Trav. 15 seconds remain. No-footed backflip to no-handed lander. So mixing it up, will he? Wow, what's coming up here? Is he, will he try the double backflip? He's rumored to have it. It would be within time. He's running at the ramp. I'm not sure. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wasn't able to get it, but the crowd is still going nuts. And why would you not go nuts for this kid? I mean, he is so banged up, so wrecked. He came in here hurt. He came in with all kinds of problems. His equilibrium was off, but he still had an unbelievable run. Here he comes, the knack backflip. Look how whipped out that bike is. And then he goes into another backflip, this time a heel clicker. And then, whoa, let's take my hands off when I land. <laughs> Back in the days, check it out from the Taco Bell fly cam. This is the can-can backflip. If you're wondering if the can-can and knack-knack are just opposite spelled backwards, they certainly are. And here is the lazy boy holding on to that thing for eternity, grabbing that back fender. He invented the trick, and so it should be that he can do it the best. Can he catch Nate Adams at 9381 is what Nate has. I don't know if this is going to be enough. And no! no! Second place and 92 is his score. Nate Adams has earned the gold medal, and he hasn't even dropped in for his second run yet. This will be all glory for the youngster. The bridesmaid finally becomes the bride. I don't know if he likes us calling him that, but let me tell you, that is one happy young man right now, and he still gets to come out and put on a show. And Travis Pastrana graciously hanging out, but stepping back. It's Nate Adams' time to shine. Ladies and gentlemen, 
It has been years in the making. He came to his first X Games as an alternate. He got into one of the events. He rode good, but he seemed uncomfortable. Then he finally came through with the goods as he started learning and building his repertoire. Now he is the king of freestyle motocross. The 20-year-old Nate Adams is here for glory. He doesn't need the run, but he will throw it down for you gladly. Do you think this is the best time Nate Adams has ever had on his dirt bike? Starting it out with a little whip, almost sliding off the side of the ramp there. My question is, it's been said that he has back-to-back -back 360s, one direction and then the other. Would he dare pull such an animal? Well, Nate is such a great rider and such a technician, I think he might just do that to have some fun. The heel clicker backflip there. He doesn't really look like he's pushing it. Maybe he's going to have some fun on the course, roost the guys that are sitting on the wall there, and then pull out something big right at the end. He is definitely just here putting on a show. He's the gold medalist. He has finally taken down Travis Pastrana. And whips galore for Nate Adams. And you know, sometimes you think, oh, I want to see the big gnarly run at the end. But one thing's for sure, he has put in the effort to become the best man, and he has earned this glory run. He Travis, is, Travis Pastrana knocked himself silly trying to compete with Nate. Uh, he, he has got a lot of respect. You know, he brought great corporate sponsors into freestyle because he's such a good, clean, respectable kid. You can see the Target all over him. Target stores have been a big supporter of Nate's. Uh, but Nate... You know, he's, he's a technician. He is the true champion. Just like Travis, they're both clean cut, they're both great kids, and they both know what it takes to be the gold medalist, and Nate is feeling it right now. So saluting the 27,000 on hand and all of you at home on ABC, Nate Adams just completed his glory run. He knew he had the gold medal before he dropped in. He's got to be ecstatic, ecstatic. His mom jumping in there for the hug. And I know his dad is always the nervous, most nervous guy in the world when Nate is riding and another successful run, although it was just yeah. kind of for fun. Yeah, it was for fun. He came up a little short there, didn't quite get the heels together. But he must be thinking, man, I just won the gold medal. I got the gold. I beat Travis Pastrana. So just fun for Nate, trying to have a good time with the crowd. His dad, Tandy, there he is, pumping it up. Now, you got to remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. The only contest that matters to anybody in any alternative sport of freestyle motocross. This is definitely the big dog. And Nate Adams has finally gotten the gold medal. Jamie Little, he has got to be pumped. Cameron, as good as Nate Adams is, it's unbelievable that this is his first X Games gold medal. Nate, what do you have to say for yourself? Oh man, I just uh, gotta thank the Lord Jesus Christ for blessing me so much. I owe it all to him. It's without him, nothing I do is possible. And I want to thank my mom, my dad, my brother. I want to give a special thanks to Kyle Lowe's and his family for, uh, for letting me use their foam pit and help me out so much this year. And all my sponsors, Yamaha, the bikes are great. Thor, DC Shoes, everyone. I can't remember them all right now. <laughs> We're kind of all over the place in my head. But I just want to thank everyone and my mechanic Speedy for coming out and and all the fans and everyone. It's everyone that's ever helped me out. The only rider to beat Travis Pastrana in a full-on freestyle competition. I know he means a lot to you. Yeah, yeah Travis is, is a gr great kid. He's, he's a friend of mine. He's a great competitor, and he's probably the toughest kid I know. And I would never ride the day after a concussion, and he went out and didn't just ride, but nearly beat me. So he's, he's, uh, he's uh, the guy that I watch at the event. He's the guy I want to beat. All right, Nate Adams can now say he is not a bridesmaid anymore. First goal. <laughs> the family jumping in, Tandy and Sandy Adams, and unbelievable day for Nate Adams. He has earned it. The big story also, Adam Jones in his first ever X Games rocking home with some hardware. The bronze and Jamie Little has got a little bit more for us. Jamie? I know Travis does not like any other color but gold, but Travis, you rode with tremendous heart today. And congratulations, silver medal. No, thank you very much. Nate Adams deserved it a lot, you know, especially coming out from last year. He kind of got robbed, so definitely uh, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be riding. Just I'm going to sleep for the next week. Just hopefully heal up some of, some of these uh, injuries. And, man, I hope to come back next X Games and uh, kick some butt. So good luck. Unbelievable. Cam?
Travis Pastrana has to wait until the next time. Nate Adams is the man with the gold medals. It has been a sweet competition. In fact, I would say it was completely sick. I can't wait for next time. From Home Depot Center, I'm Cameron Steele along with Tess Sewell and Jamie Leno. We're going to get a little bit more from X when we come back.